slowly I started seeing her disregard people. There's many we could name, like Piers Morgan. And um, she kind of used them. And when she knew there was no way more she could use them, she'd get rid of them. So, I mean, talking of big names, you very famously befriended Meghan Markle. Um, I think the other way around. She sorry. befriended me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you befriended each other. And uh, I think you were subsequently ghosted, I think. I mean, what, what, what's, what happened? I mean, tell us a bit about the relationship and what went wrong. Well, no, Meghan came to London. No one knew of her. She was in a show called Sweet, Sweet. Not Suit, you sorry. You didn't know her at this point either. I didn't know her at all. And they were saying this actress has flown in from Canada from a show called Suits. And I, I hadn't heard of her my friends hadn't heard of her and I practically knew everyone in showbiz and I thought it's bad when I'm trying to google someone I really hadn't got a clue so we we're at a charity dinner night and my friend that was organizing it said look do you mind sitting next to Meghan Markle you can talk to anyone you know you could talk to a wall will you look after her and I was a bit annoyed really because all my mates were on the other table I was like oh do I have to sit with this person they said look just just for a while anyway we did, we sat together, we got on very well actually and um, there we go, she's probably regretting sitting next to me now but we got on extremely well and she loved London, loved the whole showbiz scene, wanted to get on, wanted to meet journalists, wanted to meet a, you know, English chap to go out with and look, she won the uh, lottery with meeting Harry but and then the next night we happened to be at the same event again so we were next to each other again and it kind of went on from there and she wanted to be interviewed and I was presenting for OKTV OK then so I said to my producer can we do a little interview with her and he was like no way we've got Victoria Beckham here we've got all these names Eva Longoria I don't know this woman no so I said even just a tiny bit even if we don't use it even if you pretend to film because I promised her and now he wishes he'd uh, given her you know longer time to be honest but yeah that's how we met and how did the relationship break down or how, how did she disappear well ma mainly because she got with Harry I, and I was I was I mean there was no one more pleased than me when she got with um, Prince Harry but I just sent a little message saying you know I'm really happy for you then Solly seeing the message hasn't come back and then you know and you kind of know if someone's not answering you back it's like you know that's it <laughs> tell me i mean and again you know i, I know nothing about her uh, so i might maybe completely unfair saying it but you know all you read as a layman in the press is people talking about her being a you know a social climber a career mm. climber mm. you know using using people to get what she wants yeah. and I don't know, maybe now because we're conditioned to think that when i see her talk to me she comes across as uh, as that person mm. and as cold and you know I, I would never have imagined me warming to mm. her and I always like you know I'd like to think I'm a reasonably good judge of character and normally you know when I, I meet people uh, or spend time with people I can very much tell if someone's you know genuine with their intentions or not uh, I mean w w was was there never any times when when you were w with her that you know as she was becoming more famous you know you could see what she mm. was at, you could see what the game was all about well I'll be honest I mean I just thought she's a very ambitious girl and there's nothing wrong with that I'm like that and I could see she was taking every opportunity she wanted to meet people and be with the right sort of people as well and get on basically and I you know good luck to her I thought no I'll help her but um slowly I started seeing her disregard people there's many we could name like Piers Morgan and um she kind of used them and when she knew there was no way more she could use them she'd get rid of them and look I understand it it's very different from being a sort of a celebrity princess to a royal princess very very different and I can totally understand her ghosting me I don't hold it against her if I saw her today I'll give her a big hug I don't agree with the way she's gone about things but um but what, why do you why do you say you don't agree with the way she's gone about things yet you agree with her ghosting you I mean I mean she, well she, I she, agree she... with her ghosting me because I knew that the celebrity world's very different to the royal world and I'm sure she was told you can't mix with certain people but she's but she must owe you a text she must have owed you a reply well, to say possibly you know. yeah out of manners yeah you're right yeah she did but I do get it and I think sometimes people it's easier just to cut off than to explain yourself and you kind of talk with your feet and you just think right it's easier just to leave it I get that and the raw world's very different to that celebrity world that I'm in and I understood that and I forgave it 
But I don't like the fact that they have trashed the royal family. They've done these interviews, they've done the books, it goes on and on, and they trade off the royal family, yet badmouth them at mm -hmm. any opportunity. And I actually think it has gone against them and the popularity, as we know, has dropped. And, you know, even across the pond, they're not very popular at the moment. Let's put it like that.